Hey everyone, my name is Brittany. I'm 22 years old and two years ago I decided that I wanted to become a nurse. So this series is offering some helpful tips and tricks to show you how I got through that journey and hopefully inspire some others who are on the same path as I am. Uh, so if you're interested then stay tuned. Hey everyone, okay, so I want to go ahead and start this series off with talking about how to pick a path to um, becoming a nurse. Uh, from one of my other nursing videos, I had a lot of people emailing me and kind of messaging me on Instagram, commenting on YouTube. Sorry, this is like, whoa. Okay, yeah, I had a lot of people um, contacting me, kind of just giving me their scenario and um, wanting to know what my advice would be as far as becoming an LPN, an RN, or BSN um, to get into the nursing field. A lot of people had very similar scenarios and some were kind of different and then there were some that were in the same boat as I am. So I want to just go through um, just a little bit of information to kind of help you pick a path and make sure that it's your path and it's the best path for your situation. So I decided to um, go along with the LPN because I had already started out in college. Um, I was in college for two years. I wanted to be a dentist and that's kind of what my path was. But me in the middle of the year or in the middle, like I think the middle of the second year, I um, was still in my general ed um, classes and I changed my major. So from going from wanting to be a dentist to just t finishing off my general ed education classes, I decided to take a break. I decided to take a break, gather my thoughts, figure out what it is that I wanted to do with my life, and that is when I decided to go ahead and just take a step back from the university life and get into um, a CNA program, which was kind of a little different from me because I never in my life considered being a nurse. So. What my mentor actually told me was that she started as a CNA, so that would be the best way to see if that's, that's a field that you want to get into. So if you are in a position where you just got out of high school or you're finishing off your degree already, then maybe the CNA program would probably be something um, a little bit easier for you to test the field out a little bit. Um, CNA programs can go anywhere from two weeks to three weeks to four months depending on the way that it's set up and there's also a way that you can challenge what's called do, do what's called challenge the test um, which some people do however in my area I live in Florida in my area the hospitals don't necessarily hire people who challenge the test because they require a 120 hour course for the CNA program so that's one place that you can start just to see if you want to get into this field um, one of the main things that come along with being in the nursing field is the question of why you want to be a nurse. When I was in my LPN program, the first question that they asked was, why do you want to be a nurse? Write it down, you get 100 words or whatever she said, can't really remember word for word, but she wanted us to basically come up with a reason or search ourselves and figure out what it is that was drawing us to this profession and really holding, holding on to that. And I'm going to come back to that in probably in another video. but. Just figuring out what it is that is driving you to become a nurse. That's something that you really, really need to pinpoint and remember because as you're going through this journey, you're going to want to remember that because that's what's going to kind of keep you going. So that is um, pretty much one way to choose your path. Now, I did have some other scenarios where people were already in school, already working on a degree. And from that place, I said, well, I mean, I offered advice. I'm not a guidance counselor, but I did offer the advice of seeing how much off your path it would be to go more towards the nursing route versus just finishing off the degree that you already have. If you're already in a science um, degree path, it's a lot easier. However, if you're in like a mass comm, you know, um, degree path then it would be smarter for you to just finish that off and then when you're completely done go back and see which way you want to go as far as the nursing um, paths that you have available whether it's LPN whether it's doing an RN which is an associate degree or going ahead and trying to get into a bachelor's degree program depending on the degree that you already have so the easiest route in my opinion easy meaning most accessible not the workload I mean the 
the most accessible route, in my opinion, is an LPN um, program because you only have to have the minimum of um, of a high school diploma. Now, not saying that the people in the program only have a high school diploma because most of my classmates had already had degrees, they were already in college at some point, so they were already kind of established when they decided to go into this program or they were already CNAs. So it is very accessible, but there is a bit of background information on most of the applicants and most of the people that are applying to these programs um, that kind of give them an, a bit of an upper hand. So that's also something to consider when you're deciding to go down that path. Now, one thing I will say, um, the LPN versus the RN, the class sizes are a lot smaller as an LPN because they really have to condense that information down into a shorter amount of time, which means they have to really, really, really go in and go hard on certain areas as well as clinical um, rotations. They have to have a smaller um, class size for that. So that is an advantage in my opinion because you get better one-on-one -on -one, um, interactions with your professors, which makes the process a lot more personal and it makes it so that, you know, you may not be able to call them two years, three years after you graduated, but in that time, that's a personal connection that you have with your professor. And it's almost like, oh my God, Brittany wasn't here today. Like, where are you? You know, it's, it's that, that accountability that's a little bit higher versus being in a bigger university setting. So as you're learning this information that is so new to you, you have a lot more confidence in the knowledge that you've learned. So if you do decide to go from the LPN to the RN, you are confident in your foundation um, and in the knowledge that you've built in that LPN program. So in choosing a path, you definitely want to focus on what's better for you. Analyze what resources that you have at the time. You know, is your mom available to take care of your kids? Do you have any kids? Do you have a husband? If you're single and you're just chilling or you don't have any bills, um, that's something that you want to analyze. You know, do you have to work full time? Do you have to work part time? Those are all things to take into consideration depending on the program that you're looking into. But most importantly, you want to pinpoint the reason why you even want to be in this field. Um, because if you don't want it hard, if you don't want it enough, then you're not going to achieve it. So you have to figure out what it is that's driving you inside to make you want to become a nurse. All right, guys. So. Uh, on to the next video, or if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll leave all my social media networks down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.